So I just wanted to give a pretty broad prediction for the next football season. So I'm going to kind of break it down in a few different categories. I'm going to go one category for the still redeveloping teams. They'll probably be anywhere from three, four, five, maybe even six wins. And then we'll go some of the more wild card teams or some of the unpredictable teams, but probably still around breaking even, maybe lucky to have a winning season, maybe eight and nine. And then a good category. And then we'll go a dominant category. So starting with the redeveloping teams, I'd put the Patriots. Going to need a quarterback. Giants really don't have much of a quarterback. Tennessee Titans. Going to lose Derrick Henry. Probably going to find a new head coach. Same thing with the Raiders. Cardinals, Panthers, Commanders. Same story as well. Broncos. Hard to say exactly how long. Russell Wilson is going to be able to keep going. Seahawks, no Pete Carroll. Don't really think they have any standout guys. Don't know how good uh, Derek Carr is going to look, so I'm putting the Saints in here as well. Also putting the Falcons, it's possible you could throw them in a wild card if they're able to get a quarterback. But just assuming that they won't, I'm going to keep them there. And then we'll go a step up from that in the kind of wild card section. I'd put the Steelers in here just because they were able to make it last year. But I still think they need to find a consistent quarterback. I'd put the Bears in here. You could maybe see a turnaround year from them. Get the first pick. Get someone like Caleb Williams. They could easily be in the redeveloping phase as well. Jaguars just haven't been impressed with Lawrence. I don't really see anyone besides Etienne and their running game. Vikings I'd put here too. Pretty crafty team. It's just hard to know if they're going to hold on to Kirk Cousins, if they're going to hold on to Justin Jefferson. So some key losses there could really set them back. And I put the Browns here too. I think they're going to be a strong team with a good defense. You have Nick Chubb coming back. Watson, but I'm just not extremely confident in him. Colts might be a little bit better next year. You got Richardson coming back. I think he will make a few games difference, but maybe they won't catch a wild card seed. Rams are probably going to go 11 and 6. Stafford is getting a little bit up there in age, but Nakoa, Cooper Cup, probably going to be a good handful of receivers, good defense. And then pretty good teams for next year. I'd put the Jets here with Aaron Rodgers. I think they're going to have a pretty balanced team. Chargers with a healthy Herbert could be a threat. Harbaugh will also have an effect there. I still think they're going to need a few more years to really become a dominant team. Also putting the Bengals in here, they could easily make a good run in the playoffs again. You got Joe Burrow coming back. And then I'd put the Miami Dolphins here. I think they have a really electric offense, but I think they're too inconsistent. Same thing for the Cowboys. I really think they've had some disappointing playoff performances, and I think that will eventually take its toll. I would put the Eagles in here as well. Maybe they can turn it around a little bit with some of the momentum they lost. Buccaneers will probably get first place again, probably get a playoff spot, but only see them going 10 and 7 in the dominant category. First, I see the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen is going to be good. Even if you lose someone like Diggs, I think they'll find an easy replacement for him. You got to put the Ravens in here too. To really dominant team. I guess you could question how they're able to perform in the playoffs, but could easily see them having a similar year. Packers are going to be in here as well. Another good year from Love. Lions, I think, are going to be really strong if they can fill in some gaps defensively just because they're such an offensive powerhouse. And then you got to put the 49ers in here. Easily could have won the Super Bowl, had a few things gone in their favor. So I think they'll be back for more. But the Chiefs are going to be good next year as well. Mahomes still going to be in his prime. Maybe they'll fill in a few gaps, get a good receiver in the draft. Could even take the number one seed away from the Ravens, given how they beat them in the playoffs. You got to put the Texans in here too. I think CJ Stroud is really going to be the bread and butter. He's going to be more experienced. Maybe they have a few gaps in terms of their other talents, but they might get another running back, maybe fill in some holes on defense, but still a lot to play out with the NFL draft trades and free agencies. So I'll probably do a more in-depth breakdown of this later, probably a game-by-game prediction for each team. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you later.